Welcome to Design Observations, the One Image Podcast. I am Mandar Rani, Faculty of Communication Design at IDC School of Design, IIT Bombay. Through the podcast, we'll analyze and discuss the observations drawn from our surroundings. I hope you'll enjoy them. The image I'm going to showcase today falls under the category Chalta Hai. If I translate this Hindi phrase in English, it would mean it's okay. But this okay is a way of ignoring things. To understand the phrase and its relationship with the image, be with me till the end of the podcast. Today's image is special and I have titled it as Sleeping Duty. Yes. You heard me right. I said sleeping duty because someone is on duty and he's sleeping. Question is, who is he and why should we bother? Don't get me wrong on this. It's an observation and I'm not complaining. Let me explain you the context. This is the security desk of my department and he's the guard on duty. It's 4.30 a.m. and he's sleeping. What is his job? He is the person who will issue the key to open an office or a lab. Before handing over the key, he will verify the identity of the person. That morning when I arrived, a question arose. Is it okay for the security guard to sleep on duty? Just for the sake of argument, let's ask a counter question. What was I doing there at 4.30 in the morning? Sometimes I wake up early and go to the department to work. To open my office, I have to issue the key. Now the problem was, how do I wake him up? Should I touch him or shout out loud? I was confused. Actually, I was in two minds, the angry me and the empathetic me. The angry me said, how can he sleep on duty? Shouldn't he be awake for his shift? Imagine if it is your office and the guard is sleeping. How would you react? However, the empathetic me said, calm down. Of course, he shouldn't sleep on duty. But in the night, when the chances of faculty and students coming to the department are low, why can't we allow him a small nap? Can we be more human? So what's the point of all this? Why are we discussing this? As we grow up in a city, we get into the habit of ignoring things. Open manholes, undulating footpath, jumping the signals and begging children. We see a lot around us and pass by. We ignore things that we cannot change or are difficult to change. Though sometimes we stand up for a cause or fight against the system. But it is tiring to keep on correcting everything to the extent that one day someone tells you to stop being a complaint box. Slowly, the ignorant behavior embeds into us and we say, Chalta hai. We learn to ignore and isolate ourselves. We find our own escapes. Had I argued with the security guard that while sleeping on duty, he would say, everyone sleeps. Why are you picking on me? Guards at the housing complex or ATMs also sleep. And in some way, he's right. Unfortunately, that is true in India. So finally, what did I do? Now, I have a number lock put to my office door. I'm no longer required to issue the key. Maybe that's my escape. We look for overrides and workarounds. Who wants the friction of a confrontation? And this is how we get institutionalized and the Chaltahai tribe grows. I am like you and you are like me. We all are the same. It would be interesting for us to learn about tight and loose cultures as defined by the psychologist Michel Gelfand from the University of Maryland and the author of the book Rule Makers, Rule Breakers. 
and if as per her definition our cultural attitude in terms of following and breaking the rules are loose then it will be essential for us to understand how we will perform amidst the continuing crisis of the coronavirus will the chalta attitude be a boon or a curse to us in india